based on the type of communication or type of message to be conveyed and communication process or the uh, communication can be distinguished into these different types so let's uh, discuss one by one the first one is oral little or uh, non verbal communication so oral communication so it is the uh, face to face communication between the people or the individual it may be in the form of uh, direct talk when a person are physically present at one place so it includes uh, the group discussions the meetings uh, the uh, telephone calls or the formal speeches so it is uh, the most effective and most frequently used uh, communication tool so it provides uh, the opportunity for the exchange of information points of view and instructions between the uh, staff or the employees uh, for example when we normally interact in a family it is a, a oral communication then is the written communication so it is a communication through the written words it's generally in the form of letters any articles formal reports policies information bulletins or other official documents so it is more, more orderly and uh, it's a binding on the subordinates uh, by the written communication it is possible to communicate with several persons uh, in at a single time so we can say that written communication is also documented proof of any kind of uh, information or communication that is to be conveyed then is non verbal communication so non verbal communication is not uh, expressed orally or in the form of writing so it is uh, conveyed through human or uh, environmental elements non verbal uh, expressions uh, uh, we can say include like uh, the facial expressions uh, the posture the tone of your voice if you are uh, angry it conveys that kind of message then your body movements and uh, our non verbal messages can be in the form of anger frustration shyness fear and which are mostly used uh, uh, mo and the mostly used non verbal communication uh, or uh, communication channels include the body language we can say then at offices also the manager should give due importance to these kind of non verbal communications as the behavior of the employees can be easily judged by keeping a watch on non verbal communications next comes the formal and the informal communication so as the name itself suggests formal communication refers to the flow of uh, information uh, through the formally established channels or chain of command so formal channels of uh, communication are planned and established by a business organization and the formal lines of communication are you know, most often follow the reporting to the certain kind of authority or the uh, organization next uh, is the informal communication so informal communication refers to the communication among the people through informal contracts means they are not uh, uh, bound by any kind of uh, uh, formal authority so it is also sometimes referred to as the Uh, grape wine so it takes place without any kind of uh, structure so it is related to uh, we can say that uh, in informal communication is related to uh, personal rather than positional matters so it does not follow any formal channels as in the case of uh, formal communication then is the downward and uh, upward communication so downward uh, communication flows from individuals at higher levels of the hierarchy to the lower levels uh, of the lower to the lower level employees in the organization so it is a form of uh, we can say superior to subordinate uh, communication so from top management it filters down to the workers through various levels various uh, informations in the form of uh, information related to policies rules procedures then uh, work assignments uh, feedback about about performance and then uh, general information about the organization such as growth uh, the organization progress all these kind of information or communication is convey, uh, covered under downward communication then is the upward communication so it is the 
uh, subordinate initiated communication it means that it flows from lower level to the top level of the organization so various kind of uh, communication or information like problems and issues faced by employees the level of uh, performance and achievement of various employees uh, request for any kind of help or uh, training needs these all are covered in upward uh, communication uh, type next type of uh, communication based on the business or the organization structure is the horizontal or the diagonal communication so horizontal uh, communication refers to uh, flow of communication among the uh, staff or the peers within the same working group or between the same departments at a same organization level whereas diagonal communication can occur at different levels it can be uh, between the members of two different departments or the employees of two different uh, levels of uh, organization the last type of uh, communication is the internal or external communication so internal communication is the communication that takes place within the organization within uh, with the different managers within different uh, departments whereas the external communication means communication with the outside uh, outsiders uh, which include your suppliers your customers or other competitors where you share uh, information regarding your uh, business or uh, various products so these are the basic types of uh, communications um, based on the uh, your uh, conveying of message or based on your organization structure